Welcome back to Bilar. We have a another mini arcade, Miss Pac-Man, that I got for three dollars and forty-nine cents. So it's the same kind of some of the others you've seen. It's not in my arcade. It looks like so it's not going to be a perfect like emulation of Miss Pac-Man. We're going to clean it up as always. Turn it on there. Turn it off. Again, I am a fan of these little cabinets and how they look. I'm not sure who made this one. Because I'm pretty sure it's, it's definitely not. Well, I won't say definitely not. But emulation wise, like how it looks, it's its own thing. It's not like how Miss Pac Man actually looks. It was nice if it did turn on. Again, should be four double A's. The batteries are still working. And this obviously works as you can see because the screen keeps turning on. Clean it up a bit. It's always hard to get these corners. Just need a Q-tip really to put on the wipe. Okay. One disinfectant. And usually one baby wipe for these just to get a little bit of residue off. Some sticker residue on the bottom, not much. Alright. We'll turn it on, give the game a go. Uh, so this has some discoloration up here. But for the price, I'm very happy. You can definitely tell it's like a Miss Pac-Man arcade kind of thing. So let's turn it on. Okay. I think it works. Getting hard to see. Got the music. Pretty hard to control with this little joystick and my finger hit that. So it just pauses it. I don't even see the ghosts out of the red. They're like really hard to see. So you probably just heard it. I'm going to try to look a little closer. But it does work. Um, the darker the light is around you, the better for this one. The frogger one was easier to see, I think. So that's Miss Pac-Man. It's really just to sit on the shelf. More than anything, there's better ways to play Miss Pac-Man, of course. But I do like these. So thanks for watching, Bar. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.